Hello, welcome back. If you're here, you're here for a Stitch Fix unboxing. So I probably don't need to tell you what Stitch Fix is. So I'm just not, you can, you can look it up. Um, with that being said, I did request of my stylist this month for some like warmer, more formal type attire, um, just because I've had a number of fall weddings I've gone to or have been in or both. Um, I have one more and this last one is I have not looked up the weather, but it's going to be in Northern Wisconsin and it's an outside wedding. Um, and there's a number of outdoor events because F me, that's why. Um, anyways, I very specifically requested warm outdoor wear to help me survive this last one. We'll see what she delivered. Um, I do think I picked like four out of the five items in my preview, but I don't really remember. We'll, we'll look at this invoice last. I also put away the prepaid mailer. Um, let's see, let's, let's just see. Anyways, here's the style card. And, um, okay, okay. Um, happy fix day, Amanda. It was lots of fun to style you again. Fall is officially upon us and we couldn't be more excited to indulge in pumpkin spice lattes and feel that crisp autumn air. I can't wait to update your wardrobe with the lovely fall trends and colorways. I love the four pieces you picked from your fix preview. These are all perfect for the season. Thank you for your request for a long sleeve dress or pantsuit. I am sorry I could not find either, but I was able to snag the knit jumpsuit by Kaylee. What do you think of it? This will look great with the DV by Dolce Vita booties and layered with a cardigan or blazer. Enjoy your new effortlessly chic outfits and at home fashion show. We rely heavily on feedback, so be sure to leave detailed notes on style and fit so we know what works best for you. Peace and love, Felicia. Okay, well, Spoiler alert, there's booties. I saw them in my preview. I couldn't say no. Um, they probably cost way too much, but let's look at them. Let's admire, admire the beauty that is these booties. The booty beauty, if you will. Anyways, here are the booties. Um, the color does make me concerned that I will like immediately scuff them up or get them dirty, but they're cute, right? Oh, and they're kind of, they're like that soft leather. Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm excited to try these bad boys on. Let's go ahead and look at our bundle. So this is what the bundle looks like. We'll open it up in a minute. So the first item was a sweater that I could not say no to, at least trying on, um, because I'm a sucker for green and I'm a sucker for like strappy details. Now, with that being said, uh, you know, Previews are cool and all, but sometimes they don't accentuate the fact that this sweater is really flippin' fluffy. Look at how fluffy that is. And I'm trying to decide if this is gonna be like a cozy fluffy or if this is gonna be an itchy fluffy. It is thicker, but it's also, it's misleadingly thick, if that makes sense. So it'll be a nice layering piece. I would probably still need to, uh, Put something underneath it if I were actually like experiencing winter, but I do look forward to trying this bad boy on. On or up next is the jumpsuit that she offered, and I will say I like floral, but this floral is just not quite hitting it for me. It just it does look like the typical polyester Kaylee jumpsuit that I am used to with like three quarter sleeves and a V neck and a little kind of modesty button up here if we so need it. The waistline is just elastic with a little tie bow. And I think the legs are gonna be full length as far as I can tell, um, which might be an issue. Um, we'll see, maybe she'll she'll be better once I turn her on. Moving on next is a cozy color black sweater that I just, I couldn't say no to. Like I don't need it, but she cute. I just, I just couldn't. Look at her, look at these colors. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? And then lastly is a dress that I was hesitant to try on because it's kind of just, I can't think of what it's called. Does it say on here what it's called? It's just called a knit ribbed dress. Anyways, this is supposed to be hypothetically straight. I think this is gonna accentuate my curves. It does have a detail, that kind of same cross detail in the back. It could be cute, it could be awful. We won't know until we try her on. Which, speaking of which, let's go try her on. 
right, so I paired the booties with the leggings I was already wearing with the ripped dress. Um, now, I did end up having to kind of like roll up the leggings a little bit because like the, where the leggings meet the boot was just like not aesthetically pleasing at all, which I will do a close up later on the booties themselves. I'm just kind of, I don't know, I have very mixed feelings about the booties, but we'll talk about those more later. Let's talk about this dress. So I was worried she will be skin tight and awful. Um, she's not skin tight, she's a little bit looser. And because of that, I do like it more than I thought I would. I will say the leggings are acting like shapewear. Um, if I weren't wearing leggings with this, I do feel like I would need to wear shapewear with just the way my curves are and the way this dress is. I do like it. It's a comfortable dress. I'm not in love with it though. And I'm probably not gonna be in love with it enough to pay the price tag that is going to be associated with this dress. So I don't know, that's the quick and dirty about this dress. We'll go ahead and highlight the shoes in that. So here's the shoe, kind of a 360 view. Hey, I rhymed, I didn't even realize it. I do like her, I do like her a lot, but they're probably gonna be money. I don't love her, but I do like her a lot. I'll give her that. So here is the jumpsuit as a whole. Um, it is definitely lengthier than I would like to have it in the legs. I am wearing it with the booties again. Um, I will say the shape is very flattering. It's very cute. If this were just a plain black jumpsuit, honestly, this might be a different story, but like this floral print, I'm just not vibing. And I'm a little worried that like, maybe floral just isn't cutting it for me anymore. I don't know. Um, but like, I do overall really like the shape of this. So I do know sometimes you can't, I know you can exchange for different sizes and I know a lot of their clothes come in a different print, but I don't think they'll let you exchange for a different print, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Maybe editing me can update as this as far as this goes. Because again, she's very cute. And if this were just plain black or even another color, I think this would be a different story. Anyways, we'll move on. All right, let's talk about this sweater. So I am wearing the same leggings. Um, just because I feel like this is more of a casual sweater and I could wear this to go out, but this definitely seems more like a casual stay at home doing like housework type stuff. Um, or even just being cozy in the winter, like sitting by the fire because our electricity is out because, or anyway, never mind. We're not going to talk about ERCOT today. We're going to be positive. I like this sweater. Um, I'm not in love with the sweater. I do kind of wish this V was a little bit more flirty, uh, which is why this is a casual top and not a going out top for me. Um, it's not itchy like I was worried about. However, the fuzziness does bring up some questions as to how well this will wash. Um, yeah, I don't know, just not in love with it. Just okay, but she cute. I'll give her that. All right, and last but not least, here is the last top. Again, we're the same leggings, um, but I feel like this makes a complete outfit. Don't you know? Like this is more going out vibes for me than that other sweater was. Now I am wearing just a brown cami underneath it because of course the white part is right in the chest area. And so like, there's just a little too much just peeking through. Um, so I was like, let's try a cami underneath it. And I think it really ended up pulling a whole look together. Now with that being said, I do already have a color black sweater. I don't need this one, but she's cute, right? Anyways, let's go read that invoice. Okay, let's see what kind of damage I can do today. Let's read the invoice. Uh, so the jumpsuit was $58. The booties were $75. Uh, this top is $46. The maroon dress is $54. And then they're calling it an olive sweater. I would call that a green personally, but the other sweater is $48. So the subtotal is $281, but if you keep all five items, you do get a 25% discount. So then the new uh, subtotal would be $210.75. I do not have any credit at the moment. So if I decided to keep all five, it'd be $210.75, or I can just pay for each item individually, depending on how I feel about it. Um, the jumpsuit will be going back. I might see if I can exchange it for a different print. Um, the boots, Mike really hates the boots. He thinks they're ugly AF. Um, however, that probably means like as far as a trend barometer, that they're probably pretty stylish. 
So, I don't know. Tell me if you like the booze. I'm probably returning them because I'm trying to be good. Save money. Wedding coming up. Um, but we'll see what happens at checkout. Um, this sweater, I think I'm going to return just because I already have a color block sweater and I don't need to. Um, I'm not really in need of more of anything at the moment. Um, the rib dress, the pink one, I am going to return uh, just because it wasn't super flattering. She was cute, but not ultimately ideal for my body type. Um, and then the green sweater I'm going to return. I think it was just too frumpy. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you are interested in trying Stitch Fix out for yourself, this is how I do get credit. Um, I do leave the uh, referral code in the description box down below. So you can click that and sign up for your first box. And I don't get that credit until they send that box to you. Um, but I do appreciate those of you who at least use the code and get me notifications, get me excited. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think we're at the end of this video. Yeah. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to do things to help the YouTube algorithm promote, promote my video to other people, uh, there are a bunch of it, simple things you can do. Liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and turning on that notification bell. Anyways, again, thanks so much for watching. Happy fall, y'all.